Hi class, this is Mr. G, Mr. Garcia. So let's go ahead and continue with, the, with what we were doing uh, on the previous video. We're continuing 1.4, okay? 1.4 are uh, the power of monomials, okay? And then our essential question was, how do you simplify expressions involving a power of a power? That's actually what we're gonna do today, okay? We did example number one, okay? Example one, number one was an aquarium. So if you don't, if you don't have this one, go ahead and pre view the previous video, okay, that I did on this. Okay, so right now we're down here. We're going to get to this example number two today. We're going to do, we're going to complete this whole chart today. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, now hopefully um, you already watched the video that I showed you on the the dolls, the little nesting dolls. You know how. It was the little, the big doll, then the Russian one, the big doll, then you took, popped it, then it was smaller, then popped it, then smaller, then then smaller, smaller, until you got to the little doll. This is equivalent to that, guys. That That's what's happening here. So first of all, let's go ahead and actually solve this one and simplify it, and, and you're going to get a better picture of it, okay? So the product of power. So this is multiplication, yes? Now, we know what this is. Right, we know what this is. This is five squared. This is two fives there, right? All right, and then this is actually written three times. So what you do first is you see the outside number. That's how many parentheses you're going to use. So it's like the Russian dolls. There's three of them. So let's do it like this: one, two, three. Because there's three. Now inside each one is five squared. Five squared, five squared, five squared, five squared. And then if you expand them even more, there's five times five, five times five, and then five times five. They're all multiplied, right? So at the end, what are we gonna get? How many fives are there? There are six fives, five to the sixth. And that's our answer, five to the sixth. Now. There's a shortcut for it, too. The shortcut is, you see this? What's 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. There it is. Now, the base stays the same, okay? Because you only have a product of one monomial, right? A power of a power, right? So this is like the Russian dolls. The big thing, the big thing, and then the two little ones inside. Okay, that's why I showed you guys that weird video about those dolls. All right, let's keep going, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in this on the side. The question on here is, how do you simplify a power of a power just like this? So you expand it, yes, but the shortcut is you multiply the exponents. And that's what we did here. Two times three is six. There it is. So you multiply the exponents. Okay, you guys, go ahead and write that down. All right, now let's go ahead and continue to A. On A, 3 to the 4th to the 2nd. So 3 to the 4th to the 2nd. So the whole thing, this whole thing is written twice. So that's why I put one parenthesis and two parentheses. And then each one is to the 4th. This is to the 4th. This is to the 4th. Now, you don't need to write it down. You don't need to be, you don't need to put all those threes on there. How many threes are in here? Four, right? How many threes are in here? Four, right? So four plus four is eight. So your answer is three to the eight. Now the shortcut is what's four times two? Eight. Okay? All right, now what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to go ahead and do B. Go ahead and do B by yourself, okay? All right, let's go ahead and go on to C. C has X to the third to the fourth. It's like those Russian dolls, okay? To the fourth, is it's four of them. So it's going to be one, two, three, Four. Now, this is all multiplication, okay? 
Don't get it confused. It's all multiplication. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. And then how? what's inside? X to the third. So if you really want to do it and be more specific, X to the third means there's three X's in there, right? So X times X times X. 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 This is X to the third. This is X to the third. This is X to the third. And this is X to the third. Okay, so how many X's do we see here? X to the third, X to the third, X to the third, X to the third. So it looks like we see uh, 12 X's, right? So this is X to the 12. Now, we did this one and this one differently, okay? I could have done this one the same too. I could have put uh, four threes in here, three, 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 but I didn't. I just put three to the fourth. It, this is uh, similar to this, okay? And right here, I could have put X to the third, X to the third, X to the third, X to the third. But I didn't, just to show you a different way. Okay, hopefully I didn't confuse you. All right, so go ahead and do, uh, go ahead and try to do D. Now, don't get confused by D, okay, just because there's a negative there. Just do the same thing as this, okay? All right, go ahead and do D. Go ahead and do that one. All right, so let's go to keep going. Let's go ahead and go to E. All right, E says one-fourth squared to the fourth. One fourth squared to the fourth. Okay, so four, that's why I put four parentheses. One, two, three, four, four parentheses. And inside the parentheses, in this case, they are brackets, but they sh they're, they're parentheses. Brackets and parentheses are almost the same. And then inside is one fourth squared. So here it is one fourth squared, one fourth, well, not one, one half squared. What, what am I doing? Sorry. This is. We'll try it again. One fourth. One fourth. One fourth. One fourth squared. One fourth squared. One fourth squared. One fourth squared. This is a four. So cuatro. Okay. So now, how many one fourths are there? There's two here. Two, four, six, eight. So your answer is one fourth to the eighth. That's your answer. One fourth to the eighth. Sorry about my writing, guys. It's because it's kind of small here. That's why. Hopefully, you don't have the same problem, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, the shortcut is what's two times four? Eight. Okay. All right. Now, go ahead and do F. You guys go ahead and do F. All right. Now, let's go ahead and do uh, uh, F. Uh, I mean, not F, G. Sorry, you should have done F already. Let's go ahead and do G. Okay, so G is a little different, okay? So bear with me. Let's do this. So you see the number 2 on the outside? That's the exponent 2, right? So it's 8, eight squared to the third squared. So it's a power of a power of a power now, okay? But we can still do this. So there's two on the outside, okay? And then on the inside, there's three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then what's on the inside? Eight squared. So eight squared, eight squared. 8 squared, 8 squared, 8 squared, 8 squared. Okay? So, how many 8s are there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 8s. 8 to the 12. This is like the little Russian dolls that I was telling you. See how it's little? Then it gets bigger, and then it gets bigger, and then it gets the whole thing. Just like the little Russian dolls that I showed you the video. Okay? So, now, the shortcut is, what's 2 times 3, guys? 2 times 3 is 6. And then times 2, 12. There it is. All right. 
Now, go ahead and do H. Go ahead and try to do H, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and fill these in right here. So how do you simplify using the law of exponents? How are we simplifying this in this case? What are we doing to the exponents? We are multiplying, right? Multiply the exponents. How do you simplify using the law of exponents? You multiply the exponents. In this case, we're multiplying them, okay? Because it's a power of a power, okay? Before, we were adding them, okay? And we still do that here. Right here, when we simplify this, we, we add these now. Four plus four is eight. But when you have them like this, you actually multiply them. When you expand them like this, you add them. See that? See how right here we do two times three is six, times two is 12. And then right here, it's you were adding them two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Okay, hopefully you guys are seeing that pattern. But how do you simplify using the law of exponents? In this case, we multiply them. Okay, how do you simplify expressions that have more than two exponents? So ones that look like this, how do you simplify them? What did we do here? We, yes, we expanded them. That's one way. But the easier way is we multiplied the exponents, right? 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12. So, you know, so you should be able to get this one too, okay? So we multiply exponents, okay? I'll put in another video too attached to this one so that you guys can kind of see a little bit a uh, different perspective, okay? All right, now if you play the video all the way to the end, yeah, I'm giving you the answers right here, okay? But still, make sure you expand them here. Make sure you still expand them, okay? All right, guys, see you in the next video. This was example two on 1.4, all right? Powers of powers.